For 80s pop star Pete Burns, it was inevitable he'd go under the knife. From a very early age, even as a child, I just knew I was in the wrong face. It wasn't my face. I think a lot of people could probably see that as dysmorphia, but I could never bear to look in mirrors. I, I used to wear a balaclava pulled down over my head all the time when I was about five years old. I just didn't recognize myself. To get his new face, Pete underwent four nose jobs, cheek implants, and had his lips augmented, all to look like this. But then it went horribly wrong. I was injected with a solution in the lip area, and eventually it started to eat away areas of my face. I just wanted to die. Pete had to go through two years of corrective surgery, which came at a price. Costs of the reconstructive surgery have cost me my house, 30 years worth of back catalogue, and every penny I've ever earned. Pete's next goal was to sue his surgeon, but with no money left, he had to take drastic measures. Please welcome Pete Burns! His appearance was focused on by the press and his fellow housemates. Well, I mean, I don't understand how you can, at such an early age, look at yourself and say, this is not me. I don't understand how... I just don't understand. If something needs changing in any way, in any aspect of my life, I will do everything I can to change it. But it seems Ruler's not the only one who doesn't quite get Pete's surgical transformation. Pete Burns is not what cosmetic surgery is about. It's a complete sideshow. I feel sorry for him that he's got to mutilate his body in this way. That's my, my sense of aesthetics. But my sense of aesthetics doesn't matter. If Pete Burns is happy and content with his body, that's fine. If I only had five years more to live, I'd rather live it like this than settle for mediocrity. This is the only way that I can be. Pete Burns was not the first knife mayor to live in the celebrity Big Brother house. In 2005, Jackie Stallone made quite an entrance. 